Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a video about the lime production plants. We had a couple um, that came out recently on the Mod Hub. One is called Stone Crushing Lime Production with Lights and Solar Panels. So one, it's quite a long name. Uh, that one is the one on the left over here. And that is by Flusty94, 2.49 megabytes to download. This is currently out for all platforms, rated 4.7 out of 5 stars. And then uh, we have this guy right over here, which is, if I hop over here my... A menu real quick it is the lime factory by team iwmm also all platforms 4.14 megabytes to download and rated 4.95 out of five stars so uh, yeah we have two lime production plants so they work just like any other production facility so you may not even need this guide but i'm still going to put out a video just so you guys can uh, have this guide to these production facilities in case you want it so um, we're to take this step by step and again it should all be time coded down below in the description so first things first we need to actually purchase these guys. So if we hit Shift P or go into the store and open up our build menu, we go to production and we scroll all the way down to the end. I have some other ones in here, but these are the two we're looking at at the very, or no, sorry, this one here and this one right here. So uh, the big one right here, this big factory here is 80,000 to buy. And again, it's inputs or stone and outputs lime. And then we have this guy right here, just 15,000 to buy, input stone, outputs lime. So um, this is going to cost, it doesn't actually say how much that was going to cost you monthly. This one's going to cost you 1248 uh, monthly, or it's going to have income of $1,248 per month. So um yeah because of the solar panels on it that makes sense sorry apologize there uh but yeah so depending on what you got going on there's different options here um this one is going to make you some passive income it seems a little bit better this one might be a little bit more realistic for what you're doing but it's kind of up to you with what you want to do um we'll take a look at all those here in a second so after you have it placed you can sell them again by being in here and clicking on it and then hitting sell right there and you also can rename these like you can anything else lamp factory one if i wanted to do that and then this one i can rename to be uh, line production to i don't know anything like that you can do whatever you want as far as all that goes uh so yeah again you have to provo provide the appropriate resources so again we talked about the inputs are stone and output is lime i have a trailer full of stone here now you can unload directly from your stone picker if you have it in the back of your stone picker so if i come up to this guy right here again over the trigger give me an eye to unload so if i want to go and just put some of this in there there we go well let's put about half of it in each one here so we get this guy unloaded down to about Eh, right about there is fine and then the other one has a trigger just inside here so we back up right there i unload it so we get that unload in there and we'll put the rest of it into there so that's how you get the inputs in um and it's a simp it's as simple as that so that's all it really comes down to as far as the production goes so that's how you get it in now next thing we're going to talk about is the actual production menu itself which you can go up to these icons here hit r to open them up or you can go into the menu by hitting escape and then you can scroll down here to this conveyor belt to see our two production so lime factory one which is going to be um this guy right here and then lime production two which is going to be our smaller guys right there so if we talk about both these guys in here again they have status as inactive you can change that to activate it to have it running or deactivate it um to have it as inactive cycles per month is going to do uh that's how many cycles per month 480 that's the production cost per month so that's how much it's going to cost you per month so essentially uh per day um and then down here we have the recipe so for every cycle so a day, if i have it set to uh months being one day months every day it would um do this uh 480 times so it'll take 12 stone and produce nine lime so 12 liters of stone to nine liters of lime um and then if we hop over here it shows us how much stone we have as an input and then how much lime we have in the output there now if we go down to here um stones again here we have the input and the output this one has a much higher capacity here a much larger recipe it still does 480 per month it does cost a little bit more per month to run about double but again you're going to make that back with your solar panel so again depending on that's that's a fairly fast and fairly uh fairly rapid uh degradation there now on both of them as well if we go down to here you can change it to from storing to selling or distributing uh so if you have it on uh storing it is going to store it up in here until you actually pull to the outputs which is going to be this guy right here this is your output for this building here and I'll show that in a second. And then over here for this one, this pipe right here is your output. And you also can shovel it in manually if you wanted to um, as an input right here um, on this one. So just something to note there. Now, if we have that set to uh, selling, if you have any sell point on here that actually takes lime, which I actually don't even know if we have one on here, but if we scroll down to lime, um, there you go. There's one that's gonna take it. So um, the lime production two will actually buy it from you. So theoretically speaking, you can sell it that way if it's in selling mode. Now, if we go back to our production menu and we change it to distributing, well, there's nowhere for the lime to go because we don't have any production facilities that are going to take that. So it's just going to store it up in here as well and allow you to access it. So we're just going to leave it on storing. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys. We'll just actually fast forward some time. I don't even need to put a cut because uh, these are all going to go very quickly. So if I just set it to 5,000, we go back down to one times here and hop in the menu. Um, we should oh I gotta activate them of course of course of course of course you gotta activate them always they're not gonna run uh, if we just actually will just fast forward into the morning here 
just really speed up the time here. Those are going to be more than done. Uh, if we go into here, stones are all done. 118,000 liters of lime for that one. And this one's got 3,400, and it's still processing through the stone. So obviously, this one's going to go a little bit slower. Um, this one's going to cook through it and give you a lot more lime. So again, basically, for every one stone, you're going to get four lime. This one is every uh, four stone, you're going to get three lime. So just be aware of that. Now, if I did want to get lime out, again, as mentioned, we're just going to pull under these pipes over here to get the product out. And lime is used to lime your fields if you're playing with lime turned on. So there you go. I can get lime out that way. Now, if I go over to the other one, I should be able to get lime out um, in a very similar way as well. Drive over here, just under that pipe that we're seeing ahead of us. We'll pull under here. Then are just going to have lime unload into there. But there you go. That is how the lime productions work. Um, I will continue to do tutorial videos, probably quick ones like this, um, if we have any new production facilities or anything like that. But anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.